Hello everyone, today I want to share about how to create a line chart with shades. Um, so basically the user scenario is like this. Um, so for example, in um, HR, I deal with um, comparing your internal uh, base pay, your internal salary with the market. Um, and then let's say uh, the blue line in the middle is a market median. That's a, a market price that we want to benchmark with. Um, and then this dark blue line is where we pay internally. So um, it's easy to look at those two lines but then in general like for data analytics um, usually we say if the data and uh, the market data um, is like has some error some um, tolerance for error so let's say in this case if it's up and down 10 percent uh, we will think that our uh, internal compensation is aligned with the market um, but um, if we just do four lines looking like this, so this one, uh, um, this line is the 90% um, uh, line, and this one is the uh, one ten percent line, like it kind of looks messy and doesn't really tell the story that you want to tell. So that's why I was thinking, okay, um, I actually like the chart to the right a lot better because it does highlight the market data, which is the light blue line. Um, it also highlights the internal data, which is a dark blue line. And then furthermore, it also shows the shades. So I can see from this chart that very easily, okay, you know, for 2015, we're paying outside uh, the acceptable range from the market. Uh, for 2016 and 17, yes, we are within the 10% tolerance, so we're okay. But then for 2000 18 we're above the market 10 percent and then uh, for 2019 we're again aligned with the market so this is a lot easier to see visually um, and it also tells the story a lot better so i'm going to show you how to do that um, in a sec okay so now we start from this line chart which is a very simple one based on the data table that you have so now let's say we uh, let's create uh, the shade one which is like just copy the data to here and then basically we want to change those two lines into shades so what you can do is actually go to chart 2 and then design change chart type and then you can see um, the different chart type for your data so for the gray line and this blue line we want to change it to area so it's gonna be area, it's not the stacked area, it's the area. So just change them to area and then no need to select the secondary axis because they're both um, the, in the same axis. So this gives you those two shades and then you can actually, for example, the one um, to the like below, just fill with white. Um, and then for the one, so now you can kind of see the shade that we want to highlight, but then the color really doesn't look nice here. So let's change the color. So you right click, you either go to fill or format data theory. And then that gives you uh, the opportunity to, to basically change the fill that you want. So you can change to any color you like. I usually fill it with a lighter color of the line so it's still in the same color tone but then um, it also make the line stand out sometimes I um, I also make it like transparent um, sometimes I don't uh, so if you don't you feel that the transparency uh, and the grid line is not looking quite well together you can actually select your grid line and then just delete it so now you have just the white background and then you can see the shade very easily um, so that is how you can create uh, the line with shades. One more thing about your chart is that um, you might want to also fix the legend as well. So for example, here you can see that I'm showing that the shade is just the market median base pay up and down 10%, but then it doesn't just come like that. So how do we do that? So first, you know that we change this shade, this area to white, which is essentially this part. So just select it and then delete. And then this part is delete. And then for this part, actually, um, 
you can select. Um, so this is where we actually just change to another tax. So one thing you can do is really just go back to or, uh, where it originally is. But then for some reason, if this table is something that you can change, you can always put it into somewhere else. Um, you can put the tax into somewhere else and um, make your uh, legend look to, to it. So for example, let's say I want to create my legend here. I want to just change the wording. So I change this part. I delete it and then I go insert add symbol. And then this is a symbol that I want to add. I go insert close and then I go up and down 10%. Okay, so it's looking a little bit huge. So I want to make sure it's aligned with my other tax. Yep. So up and down 10%. So now you select um, your shade select data. So this is where you have your um, data table and then click on the 110 add it. This is a tax that is looking like uh, looking to and then you know, I just select this uh, cell and then it's going to automatically update. So this is um, basically where all your um, data is lined up. So one thing also to pay attention is that like by adjusting um, the order here, you can actually choose to show which line stays on the top. So now you can see, for example, my company's average pay is the line that's on the top. Let's say I don't like it. I actually want the market data to be um, to be coming to the front. So what you can do here is actually, for example, selecting the market median pay and then go to here, move down and then you can move it. And then here you go. So when you move it down, you can see that this line is actually in front of the darker line. So um, this you can adjust it here to whatever order that makes you most comfortable with. And then just uh, after you have done that, just go OK. And then voila, you have the line chart with shade. OK, so that is everything that I want to share with you today. I hope that you like uh, this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.